What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Tucker Scott and in today's video, I got a package. It is the GoPro Hero 11 Mini. I wanna put it on my FPV drones to see how I like the smaller drone. We're gonna put it on the Vada and uh, go fly it. So stay tuned, let's unbox the GoPro 11. I also bought this little attachment that goes on top of the Avada so I can put the GoPro Hero 11 on top of it. We're gonna see how it flies as well as the footage that comes out of it. So let's dive into the video. Here comes the unboxing. Let's go. I need to find a knife. Hmm, I don't have a knife, but this trusty pen will work. Hopefully. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's just get right into the goodies. All right, so here's what the package looks like. And uh, let's just keep going. Woo! Buckets. Check this thing out. This is the GoPro Hero 11 Mini. While your GoPro is charging, your shots auto upload to the cloud and then a highlight video is sent to you. With in quotation marks, with GoPro subscription. So, what comes in here is the GoPro, some attachments, the cord, and the case. Um, one button simplicity, 24.7 megapixel video frame grab, 5.3K60 plus 4K120, waterproof up to 33 feet. And like I said, hyper smooth stabilization and uploads to the cloud. So, here we are. I don't need the pen in there anymore. Also, I don't know if you guys can notice, but my dog's just posted up on my bed at the moment, just chilling. So, wow. Honestly, I like the feel of it. It's like more compact. Here is the GoPros side by side with each other. Get that off of there. All right, so here you are. There's the size comparison. The GoPro 11 mini is actually a little wider. I guess more girthy or wider. I don't know how you'd say it, but it's wider. And taller, but that doesn't really bother me because I am actually going to be putting this on top of my FPV. So I wanted it so it just looks like a little cube. And uh, so from here, you got the little screen, the shutter button. I'm sure that's the switch mode slash connect to the Bluetooth. It's got the Bluetooth sign on it. What's also cool about this thing is it has the mounting option right here. And then as well, what I just saw, which sits flush with the back of this thing, is you got more little, more little doohickeys on the back. So you can actually go from here or connect it here whatever you decide, as well as you have the detachable lens, so you can actually put ND filters on and make your GoPro footage look more cinematic, or if you crack this, you can replace it. You know, pretty straightforward stuff with GoPro. But this is the reason I actually bought it. So, got my Vada right here, and the camera on it is you know, decent, it's whatever, but I wanted some 4K 120. So I bought this right here. This is the GoPro sports camera mount adapter with cold shoe and it goes on the Avada. So basically here's the adapter. Now we're back, quick intermission. Built pretty well, I would have to say. It's got rubber on the inside, so good for the Avada. It comes with the screws and the screwdriver as well as the typical GoPro screw. But let's hurry up and install this and go fly it. I saw them attach it from the back and angle it up like so. So when it flies, you're just cruising like this and angling it this way, it's more like it's not standing up on top. So we'll see. Let's figure it out, let's test it. I'm assuming upside down would be the best move. And for all you guys who are like, just get the boat GoPro Hero Bones. I don't feel like soldering a bunch of shit, so I'm not doing that. But I think if I can just put this like so, 
this is what we're looking at. This is what we got going on. I'm gonna actually set up the GoPro now because it's just now been unboxed. And uh, I'll see you guys at the park, later. All right, so now we are at the park. I got the Avada and the GoPro in here. I'm gonna set it up, start flying. Hopefully I don't crash, but let's test this baby out. All right, we're gonna set this John up. Gotta make sure I got the proper ND filter. So I brought the 11. You can't really see me, but set this baby up. All right, so now we got this baby dialed. Is that a new one? Yeah, it's the mini, GoPro 11 mini. We got the whole squad here. We got the homie T-Bone, got the homie Cole. Cole's got a couple more days here before he goes back. Playing fetch with the dog, Yuka. All right, we're gonna set this up and get flying. Let's see how this footage looks. Go back, upload it to the computer. See what we got going. Okay, I'm back at my desk. The DJI Avada flew great with the GoPro Mini 11 attached to it. I like how it's smaller and kind of boxier so you don't have a bunch of weight. I had it flipped over upside down and the angle of that actually turned out great. So pro tip. If you are flying with the Avada and the GoPro Mini, flip it upside down, use the back attachment, it works really great. One thing I did like about the GoPro compared to the Avada camera is the, the stabilization on the GoPro. Oh, one second. Oh, you're getting old, dog. Okay, where was I? Okay, all right. So the stabilization on the GoPro 11 mini is pretty incredible. I liked using it better than the DJI Vada camera because even though I'm new to flying the FPV, any little like micro turn I do, you could totally catch it on the Avada. Whereas the GoPro 11 mini, super stable, wasn't all jerky and the video wasn't that bad. The weather wasn't very good, so you just get a lot of green and brown and gray. So I didn't really test the coloring out there. I just kind of let both cameras do their thing. I do love the GoPro 11 4K120 being able to film. Hopefully when I get better with the Avada and any other FPV I get into, you can actually slow down the footage from 120 frames a second so you can get some, you know, cool videos of people jumping over the drone or cars drifting or anything like that so i do like the fact that it films in 4k 120. the flying of the avada with the gopro honestly is a slight delay with the throttle because of the little bit heavier weight and then top speed it got a little shaky so i got to figure something out with that overall though not too bad i got a hold of it real quick and um yeah i enjoyed the gopro 11 mini on the avada so if you guys have any questions leave them down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you want to see something else leave it in the comments below i will be doing a full-blown review on the gopro 11 mini here shortly i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you're not already please hit that subscribe button like this video and i'll see you in the next one later